Alright guys, so today's video is about how to connect MRTF Pro to your iPhone. So I have my MRTF Pro Watch 7 here. Even if you are having problem in connection with your MRTF Pro app, without wasting much of your time, let's get down to business. Alright, the first thing to do here is to make sure your Bluetooth data and location switched on on your smartphone. So let's go to our settings of our iPhone, we switch on our location first, go to privacy and turn on the location services. Once you have done that, you can go back and switch on your Bluetooth and make sure our data or Wi-Fi is switched on. The next thing to do is to launch our MRTF Pro app, which is this. Before you can log in, you have to either register or log in as a visitor or you use your Gmail or your Apple ID. In this video, I'll be using my Apple ID. So I'm going to select the Apple ID here and you can confirm the MRTF Pro app with your ID and once it is successful you are going to get to the home page like this now the next thing to do here is to come to this dashboard down here and select device so you select bind now when you select that it's going to show up your watch 7 here then tap on your watch 7 as you can see right here, we have our icon changed to green from white. Now select Pierre. And you are going to see another notification that says you should allow Watch 7 to receive iPhone notification. Select Allow. And now we have our Watch 7 connected to it. In case you want to use the call feature, we have switched it on before. You have to switch it on again so that this can connect to it. Select the call function once again for the Bluetooth. And it's going to come blue now minimize this and go to your settings once again that is your bluetooth settings and search for the second bluetooth okay you have connected the first one and we are going to connect the second bluetooth as you can see we have watch call okay you select watch call and it's going to sync it up to our watch 7 now the icon has just changed to orange that shows we have the two bluetooth connected to our iphone once you have done that you can use it to receive call text message and whatsapp notification and every other stuff like that now let's minimize this and go back to our mrtf pro app so the next thing i'm going to show you right now is how to change the time settings of your watch 7 mrtf pro app so if you have the 24 hours you want to change it to 12 hours or vice versa what you have to do is to go to this me option here select that and you are going to go to the unit setting select unit set and it's going to show you measure units so you can select the 12 hours one that you want or the 24 hours settings okay so it's going to change it for you and it's going to work the way you want it so here i'm going to choose 12 hours and select save option here which you can see a logo up here all right so you have to save that and once you save it it's going to change your time format to 12 hours now another thing i'm going to show you is how to customize it which you can go to the die manager here and select die manage and it's going to show you different kinds of die which you can install just select install and select install once again and it's going to start syncing up to your watch 7 now we have our watch face changed to this watermelon wallpaper so this is how to change it but if you want to customize it to your own picture using the MRT Pro app please scroll all the way down and you are going to see custom select the wallpaper you can now pick how you want the design to be you can pick where the time should be that is the time position you can pick the data above time if you want some data to be there and other ones with the font color here yeah, i would prefer it to be in the default state so once you are okay with that select your picture and you can see album select that and it's going to take you to your gallery which you can see here so i'm going to select one of these pictures here you can now grant the permission for MRT Pro to access your photos. Select the option, select more photos. When you select that, you can now pick the one that you want to use. So here, I'm going to use this, just one, and select done, and crop on this watch face, okay, like this, 
if you want to go in you can just pinch out if you want to go in or crop in you can pinch in so here i'm going to pinch out okay i want it this way and select okay now if i'm okay with that i can select install once i select install it's going to start pushing and it is sync up to my watch face of my m active pro watch 7. Now we have our watch face change. This is the new one. As you can see, this is the customized wallpaper. Okay, so the next one I'm going to show you is how to receive WhatsApp notification on your watch 7. So if you have connected the two Bluetooth, then you'll be receiving your WhatsApp notification on your iPhone. Now let's send a message to this iPhone. I'm going to go to the message of my iPhone and send a message, hi. Have you subscribed? So let's see our message drop. All right, here you can see it. It says my name and I have you subscribed. So if I send another thing like just a random, a random letter here and send, you are going to see that pop up once again, as you can see. So that is how to connect M Active Pro to iPhone. If you have any issue or problem in connection with MRTF Pro, please let me know down there in the comment section. And if your MRTF Pro is not installing on your phone, please let me know down there too and I will tell you what to do. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.